Hi friends, uh, welcome to this episode of Growing Pains, Woo! yay! The UK's number one podcast. Number one, who did we knock off top spot? Joe Rogan, Louis Theroux. Joe Rogan, is that the one, the fitness guy uh, in he, lockdown? No, that's Joe Wicks. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, we was actually number one podcast for a significant amount of time. I know, for one poddy as well. Absolutely mental. It's crazy. However, apparently... I spit slurp. You do. No, he goes, ah. I that sounded like Minecraft drinking. <laughs> I get some more. <laughs> um, yeah, so this has been playing on my mind recently because I didn't even know I did this. No, you do. You have a lot of habits. Uh, well, I mentioned this on Side Plus as well recently. Yeah. And Toby went, what? You never knew you did that. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And he you went, do it all the time. And he was like, that's like an Ethan thing. And I said, yeah. what? So you like, you will know yeah, yeah, that yeah. I've been doing yeah. it. Maybe you're just closer to the mic here. So it picks up. What we think it is, is see how some people say like a lot. Yeah. I don't say like. However, I do spit slurp. Do you know what it so, is? It's when you're thinking, you go, ah. Uh, yeah. So I'll whack out an uh, or I'll go, or you'll ask me something like, hey, what did you think of my hair this week? And I'll go, yeah, decent. Yeah, no, so, I've heard that. And then it just doesn't sound like a compliment. Yeah, well, so, <laughs> however, I have now actively been working on trying not to do it. On Sidecast, I did it three times, but there was one that was really long. I oh, really? And I had my head in my hands. Oh, so no. I'm going to try my best. My head in my Especially hands. for you audio listeners. By the way, rate us five stars yeah, on whatever on, platform please. you're on. Leave a nice review. Let's go. Thank you very much. We want to stay number one podcast in the UK. Absolutely. So, um, we do appreciate you a lot. Um, See, I would have done one then at the end of a sentence, so I'm trying my best to keep it stum. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. How's your week been? Uh, good. I mean, I've what, been what, at home what, with you. I was going to say, what day? I've done it again! <laughs> you see that? How's your week been? Yeah, right. uh, Talk to me. Toxic trait. Um, yeah, no, it's been good. What have we done? We went, we went to lunch, didn't we? We did top golf. Yeah, we went to top golf. So Ethan said... Um, Oh, babe, do you want to go top golf? Didn't you? As yeah. a little date proposal, this man does not do dates. You don't do dates. Give it like tell him straight. We're not date people. Uh, well, we well we don't go out on dates. Yeah, I, we are I've, date people. We I think our, our our life changed a bit. We used to try and do something every yeah, week. Yeah, of course. We used to try and go for a meal or something. But now, now we don't really do like a date date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, of course. But so Ethan proposed it. But obviously, everyone knows that you've been loving golf recently. So is that pay? Do you want to go top golf? And I was like, I know this is for you, King. Well, I'll I tell you what it was. I'd just been to the range the day before and I was nailing balls. Like I was doing some good stuff. Yeah. And I come home, didn't I? I said that was really good. You did actually do a really good shot. I've got to give it to you. Yeah. You so did do a really good one. Faith's now seen the tech. The potential. All these golf lessons paying off. Paying off. Yeah. I had one today as well, just before this. I know. And again, really nice. Really good. Fantastic. And I've just bought some accessories for home, haven't I? Yeah. I've got a golf chipping net. He's with a chipping like mat that's fair weight and rough. Uh, I've got a 10 foot by seven foot hitting net so mm. I can practice my striking. That's, that's the benefit sick. of living out in the, in the countryside. Mm. I've got space to do what I want. Yeah. No, it is, nice. is a bonus, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think I think we've had a good week. Mm. I'd say so. Went to lunch. Um, Olive Nick like all the chips, didn't she? Yep. All the chips. Yeah, she's kept going. This this girl loves to eat. She loves to eat. I had someone message me that I actually know who has a baby, but mm. it's younger than Olive. She was like, "Oh, did you have any problems like introducing her to like chunky textured food?" And I was mm. like, "Hun, no, no, <laughs> like, this, this, no, this, this child girl can eat. Eats. I wonder who she gets. <laughs> she like her daddy. Yeah. <laughs> um. However, should we should we discuss something that I'm going to bring up? Go on. In. Uh, I feel like the world doesn't understand that me and Faith have this dry humour towards each other. Yeah. Like, We've to you guys, it, yeah, to you guys, it must come across like, yeah, these guys are finished. Yeah, like, they, they got love. another year in the max. Yeah. Like, it's just the way we are. We're not like, super yeah. soppy or anything. No, I feel like, Love is meant to be behind closed doors because yeah. that's what's actually real. Yeah. I feel like if you're showing that on the camera, it's false. I feel Why like, do you need to prove your love to everyone? Yeah. No. I feel like we're just fine, man. Listen, your mum and dad argues. We're, we're so comfortable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I don't need to be like, look, come here, babe. My hands are sweating. Yeah, yeah baby. Look, there you go. Yeah, look. Let's My hands, hands are moist. Let's hold hands on our couple's podcast because okay. we're like this actually really so hurt in love. My we're so, listen. You're my missus. I love you very much. Oh, thanks. Love you too. No worries. That was really nice, wasn't that it? That was it. Uh, yeah. Some... Uh, should we talk about the behaviour chart? 
Sure, I feel like there's something beforehand. Obviously, if you're watching this podcast, we seem to have swapped sides. Oh, true. Yeah, let's address the elephant <laughs> Let's in the address room. that before everyone's like, why are they on the wrong side? It is because Ethan, that is his better side. And he yes. kept going, for God's sake, you guys are all my better side. <laughs> you guys are all so familiar with my lazy eye. I thought I'd put it on the prominent side for you guys. <laughs> exactly. And your girl has acne on the other side. So we're trying to, <laughs> we're trying to hide oh, that. Why not? Bit. Why don't we just spice, spice things you know up a little bit? Like, you know, like them yogurt, this is going to be disgusting. You know, when you have like a yogurt bar and yeah. then it, it's like lumpy because it's got fruit in it. Yeah. And then I put makeup over the top. My skin be looking like a yogurt bar right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not on my left side. So. That's one of the best sort of analogies of a spot problem I've ever heard. Well yeah, done. but I don't seem to get acne on the left. So here we are. Isn't there something to do with hormones about where you get them? Isn't it like... His stress, or is it yeah, chin, like around under, his stress, under right? your No, under your cheeks and chin is all, all hormonal, and right. that's where mine is. So yeah. I would say you're having the baby. And you I'm are like, a mother. I am a mother. Bitch, I'm a mother. Bitch, I'm a mother. And then my hormones regulating mm. is probably tied into that, because she wasn't born a long time ago. No, oh, 10 months today. Yeah, woohoo. Go, Olive. That's Olive, crazy. Yeah. Olive is officially so crazy. two months away She's from two. being a one-year-old. Oh, don't look good cry. You actually will as well. I would cry. Baseline's yeah. like super soppy with this stuff. It's actually really cute. Yeah. Now we have to change subject because my eyes were tear up. Oh, she almost won. <laughs> whole one year old. Ah. Um, but yeah, behaviour charts. Should we should we do some behaviour yeah. charts this week? I've read them down. Did you? Of course. You know I've read them down. I have to look. Is this them. a negative one? Yeah. Let's start with the negatives because <laughs> <laughs> these are the ones that I log. The uh, doing the nice ones. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, no. oh you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. This I've one. Got two. I've got two. This really one, Can good I just ones. say? There's one here that was said in. The it was a joke way. It was said in a funny manner. I was only doing it to add to the bit of like fun. I don't even know what you're going on about. It was just said in a funny way. What yes, was? go on, read what it. What one do you think I'm going to say? You're going to say the, the feet toe, one. yeah. Yeah, okay, so I've got two. That's not the one I was going to say, but okay. I will say that one first now. I asked Ethan to rub my feet, okay? So I hold a lot of stress in my feet, and I don't know why some people hold it in their backs, whatever. I just feel like my feet hurt all the time. I hold all of mine in my traps and shoulders. This like they're I'm rock saying, but mine's in my, um, my feet. Um, size six, long foot, according to the... Beta squad, which is rude. Um, it's actually <laughs> average. But um, anywho, he said, asked Ethan to rub my feet. He said, no, I'm too rich for this shit. <laughs> like he literally went, no, by the way, I'm too rich for this shit. And, like and, that. and, and I was and like, are you joking? Way, this is in reference to the classic 50 Cent tweet where 50 Cent literally tweeted, Grandma just asked me to take the trash out. I'm too rich for this shit. What the fuck? So I was just referencing that. But on the contrary, you like that? Just done a the, big word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five minutes before this in the car, no, I noticed it, that it. she's just got her trotters out it. in my car by the dashboard. Yeah. And she's going, oh yeah, my feet actually proper stink at no, a minute. No, I didn't say it like that. I just said they smell a little bit. Yeah, my feet I proper stink wear, at a minute. That I often wear shoes without socks. She so puts, like... by the way, can I just get a, <laughs> please, on threads, whatever platform possible, tell me if putting a bare foot in a welly is okay. I think she should go to prison. Listen, loads of people pay bank for that welly. I think you got I'm to go gonna to prison. I'm going to get some DMs. So, racks for them. Wellies. she goes... Yeah, my feet are actually ponging at the minute. No, it's and then five minutes later, ask me to get hold of them and give them like a rub down. Yeah, because you should be willing to put. I'm not rubbing a good foot, let alone a honking foot. Sing. If you, if you, if you love me, you'd do it. That's <sighs> always like the little catch that everyone says, isn't it? If you're a girlfriend, uh, if you love me, you'd do it. Yeah. If he you'd wanted to, he would. He's too rich. No, I don't to do want it. to. Yeah, but the one that I was actually going to bring up was mm. so there's a clip on uh, TikTok of. Uh, you and Simon, I think, well, it was, it was on a side cast of your face. You look like that meme picture of you on the stairs. Because I'm, I'm unaware. <laughs> oh, I that know was, what this is. Yeah, yeah. So I like watch them. I see them. They come up, on, come up on TikTok. And it was um, it was like, oh, me and Simon like a champagne belly. So I didn't know what this was. So I said to Ethan in the car, <laughs> I was like, oh, what's a champagne belly? Um, I saw the clip on side cast. And he said... Oh, you had one. Oops, I meant have. He went, I misspoke. He went, oh, you know, you had have. Yeah, I misspoke. So my poor child bearing body yeah. 
It was bad, and I immediately knew it. I misspoke. I I used past tense. And then tense. he was like, you know, like a like a swimwear model. Yeah, belly. so bro, like, I've never well, had that. It comes from the conversation that like JJ actually likes like built Muscular women, women, like, yeah. like 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 as if they've got arms yeah. like, and shoulders. Whereas like everyone's got a preference. Yeah, and for me. It's a no go. It's a champagne belly. Yeah, and it's called a champagne flute. Is what yeah. it's called. It's just like a nice belly. And me and Simon have always had this thing of just like it's just a nice, a nice belly, man. Nice belly can get me going. Great. And you have it. I don't. If do I wore a crop top now, I'd look like I should put on some pink Adidas tracksuits and gold hoops and go around Dagnam Market. <laughs> <laughs> it nah. would be hanging out. No, nah, you're. I've got abs separation. Listen. You I have are, a C-section. You're fantastic. You look amazing. Thanks, but I did had one, no? Had, have, uh, had one. I said had, but I meant have. No, you did not. I misspoke. It's okay. I'm going to keep my uh, shirt on. I've got some good ones for you. Oh, good ones. That's yeah. Nice. Uh, Is it about my champagne belly? <laughs> no, I actually, I wanted to pay tribute to you. Oh, uh, not, I've not died. But no, you haven't, okay. you haven't died, but I do want to give you props. Oh, uh, cheers. You are an excellent mother. I know. I know. You're an I excellent wife. One. What? You're not actually a wife yet. Yeah, but... l- 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 <laughs> But the performance package you're putting on at the minute. Is I impressive. always do that. It's impressive. What do you mean? Man. It hasn't changed. It is really impressive. I'm up my game. Um, Faith has been taking care of me big time. I have. Uh, she does my washing, which is lovely. Thank you. And especially my football kit. Wow. I appreciate that. It's like one shirt. No, but I appreciate I do that. all your other shirts. As well. I appreciate that. That was really lovely of you. Uh, you fed me very well recently. Oh, yeah, but I do actually like to cook because you went mm. through a little... Well, you still well, you did too. Through you stage. liked them as well. I did, yeah. No, no but you um, get your meal preps done, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah. And then you was kind of so like set before your operation on I need to lose weight. I need mm. to, to be like... Because I like to chuck a lot of honey and things. And she like, loves like marinating a bit of beef or chicken in like honey. Honey goes in everything. Yeah, 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 like yeah. everything. And yeah. um, so he was like, I can't... Like, this isn't good for me. So you went on a strict meal prep. And I was like, well, I don't really want to cook for one. Mm. Like... It's just a lot of hassle, mess, whatever. Um, but then I was like, babe, but listen, I'm kind of done with the meal preps. Like, mm. I'm a bit bored of them, so to say, because I like to switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I've started cooking for us again, haven't I? Yeah, really nice. Feeding me well. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're being more lovey-dovey recently. Yes. Quite cute. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so I'm a soft queen. <laughs> shout out you. Your behaviour at the minute is impeccable. Oh, cheers. I've got to write it up there. I didn't know what you was doing then. I might be done for Wednesday. What are you actually going to um, call me when I am your wife? Because he always calls me his wife now. He says I'm wifey. Yeah. Well, you'll that's have to, because you'll have to sit back down. You are going to bed. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine I actually did it on a podcast show. Yeah, that'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. Did that even I'd, get you? No, I'd, I was a bit like. Did that even get you in any sort of way? No, I like, think my face think, was like. It's something I'd do, to be fair. It's kind of, I didn't know what you was doing then. No, it would have been funny though, wouldn't it? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> eventually, though. Oh, cheers. Eventually, it's back. Eventually, back. we'll get that. Uh, my phone's going to die, but hey, that's fine. Yeah. That's well, well I've, fine. I've got the brief on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of engagements, Tommy and Molly just got engaged. Tommy and Molly May are engaged. The Jake Paul check went down a tree. tree. Because that That ring ring takes up the whole screen. That ring is whopping. I don't know, five carats, six carats. He's going to need to fight JJ. Yeah. He's out of money. He's spunk to all in the ring, man. (laughs) And you're going to fight Joe Weller, no? Uh, I've just done the noise. I'm going to get that Joe Weller package. I've done the noise. (laughs) I don't even think me and Joe Weller gets the payment necessary for me to I don't think so I feel like no offence no. I feel like if you're going to fight anyone just go for Salt Pappy Salt Pappy would fuck me up yeah Salt no Salt Pappy is having his way with me yeah cool but payday really I'm not it? having a fight with Salt Pappy I love him <laughs> let's just have a hug yeah <laughs> Salt Pappy hug me who else who else is there? oh that Brian Taylor wants to fight you doesn't he he does want to fight me I don't know it why. is quite funny I don't, I don't know man it's you got a, he's odd got, guy he called me Benzema Benzema called me Benzema Ben Benzema, yeah, like Hans who, Zimmer. No, oh, uh, do you know who Karen Benzema is? No, footballer played for Real Madrid. Well, okay. played for Real Madrid. Cool. Um, yeah, on an interview, he was like, "It's <laughs> 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 like that that geezer from the sidemen, Ben Benzema, Benzema." It's like, brother, you know. Oh, you know who I am. You know who yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, man, he's he's had a few digs. He he just doesn't like the way that I've spoke about him in the past. Yeah, which was. He had butted someone he shouldn't fight again, but hey, that's just the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, I think the same. So if you can't handle the truth, yeah. Then fair Don't be in man. the game, yeah. But yeah. Um, 
Cool beans. Should we move on? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Trending topics. Trending. What's been popping in the world? It's been popping. JJ said, by the way, yeah. this is a true thing. Okay. He said that he's a bigger football fan than me. No, he's not. What's he your just take has on a that? Box. What's your take he just on that? He has a box. I, I don't listen. I can't say I've ever sat down with JJ and had a chat about football. football chat, yeah. Because why would I? Do you no. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like you're going to have more to say on this. But speaking for you, the amount of games I watch that aren't even big games, I'm talking like pretty much people's Sunday league games that are just on the TV. I'm like, babe, who are these? And he's like, oh yeah, like Sheep and Barnsley FC. And I'm like, who? <laughs> I'm like, Sheep who? and Barnsley yeah, FC. Yeah, but they may as well what a be. Club. They what may a as club. well be. Sign me up for Sheep like, and they, Barnsley FC. They aren't teams. So he'll be like, yeah, these are like leagues that go like way back and then you qualify and then you're here and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, so yeah. they're at your level. They've just whacked it on the TV. I'll tell you what, I, I think JJ... You watch every yeah. match. JJ is. in recent times has definitely upped his football game. Uh, he's especially taken into it a lot more now because of FPL. He's yeah, now yeah, joined yeah. their FPL oh, group. Oh, okay, cool. So he's, he's trying to consume That'll his... be handy if he starts losing. Well, that's the aim. Because Ethan always loses. That's why we got him there. spending his money. <laughs> that's why we got him there. That's why we got him there. Hopefully... You'll be taken on some bougie trips. If oh, yeah, hopefully he's there like a... He's like a punch bag for our group now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's actually... He's worrying us because he's sweating it hard. Yeah, I mean, for those that don't know, like in your FPL group, whoever is bottom two, they have to like take the whole pay, group somewhere. Yeah, so and last pay couple of years, it. it's been meals. Because you're going Croatia. I've got Twitch in my arm. Yeah, I'm going Croatia th Friday, Thursday morning. Thursday, Thursday? No, Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> I was going to say, but Friday Friday morning, another day. <laughs> I'm heading to Croatia yeah. and me and Chipper Grimes have had to organise a trip with mm -hmm. a 10K budget. Yeah, and listen, I said I should be able to come on this one. You no, because I've no, because I've already I've already paid for the boys. <laughs> I've already like, my budget's taken up. The five k has been spent. I am one small human. No, I'm one of the boys. No, Come but on, it's also like it's a, it's a bit of fun, and it? it's like the boys trip we've worked all year in FPL. Because by the way, you can tell like, this sounds really like privileged or whatever. But do, how how much of the week does that occupy of my time when it when it's actually on, and how much do I moan about it? Well, FPL, yeah, yeah, a lot. But you don't have to do it. You said next year you're not doing it. Well, I did say that, but then they. But add, now you're in it. But then they added Calix on KSI, and the bait was too much. Okay, cool. So can we just shake hands on whatever you got to do? I just want to be in the background somewhere. I like these little trips too. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I just got yeah, maybe. Okay. Thanks. Right. Um, yeah, JJ watches a lot of football. Got a cool box at Arsenal. However, I think my love for football stems back so far, long ago, mm. and still to this day, that I just think. I don't, I don't know JJ's home life. Do you know now. what? It's funny though, because I, I did, it was a side plus clip and I actually, I got, he was he was trying to wind me up and he was, he, he got me on the... Rattled. He if got it's me. a sport combo, He got me. I know. You're I just, so held by the balls. I like, yeah, he got me, man. But hey, listen, I just love football. Yeah. Cool. Barbie versus Oppenheimer. Barbie girl. We wouldn't know because... We didn't we, get invited to the Premier. No. Oh. Shall I tell you a secret? Go on. We did. Oh! What? But it's too much hassle. What one? Too much. The Oppenheimer one. Oh, okay, You don't really care cool. about that one. No, I don't know what no, that exactly. is. But I'd still have liked to go. <laughs> yeah, but there was just no possible way in our schedule that week by saying, hey, can we just drop Olive off? And but every influencer in the world went got, invited, got invited to Barbie. You could have gone. I, no, no, I couldn't. Because I'm talking people with like fucking 11k followers. No hate. You're doing your grind. I love that for you. Keep shining, queen. But... <laughs> But I'm f I'm fucking I've Fizzle K. I've got 1.6 milli. Where's I'm, my invite? I'm, I'm Fizzle K, bitch. I'm, yeah, people don't know me and even call myself Fizzle K. And I literally just called my Instagram TikTok names Faith Louisa K. And people are like, oh, how do you pronounce your surname? Louisa K. <laughs> <laughs> Louisa I'm like, I'm like, that's not my name. Um, It's Louisa Kelly. But now I think I should change it to Fizzle K because you've got Bambino, Becky. You've got people with no, names. No, you're stuck Fizzle now. K. Faith Kelly is stuck. Oh. You are Faith Kelly. I'm Faith Louisa K. Faith Louisa. Um, Barbie versus Oppenheimer. We haven't seen either. However, you we, said you would take me to Barbie. I said I'll take you to Barbie and you take me Oppenheimer. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So can you take me to, um, I said the one, wasn't it? Every man. Every man. Every man. man. Yeah. Want to go to an every night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we'll go the, to that one. Bougie experience. Yeah, yeah, I went to there when I was like 19. I just remember being like, oh my God, I'm going to have to like not eat for a week after I've been here. It's so expensive. Nah. It's good. I like it, every man. Yeah. I like it, every man. Bougie experience. How, Proddy, how long was. Oppenheimer. Three hours. Three hours. No, do I you, saw that. No, think? I don't. I don't think I can do it. Please. If we're in Everyman where you're comfy, you can have a cuddle. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> you can have a I'm cuddle. sold. Yeah. We say this at night time. Ethan's not a hugger and it really upsets me. I'm not a hugger in He's the bedroom. In the bedroom. I'm not a hugger in the bedroom. I am I'm not a very hugger, I'm a lover. Like, I'm very much, once I'm in bed. You like your own space. I want to be really cool. I like the aircon blasting. Get off, babe, I'm hot. No, it's literally so hot sweaty in here. Sweating legs, man. <laughs> I hate sweaty legs. Yeah. Sweaty legs and like cuddling just... It's not the optimal way of sleeping. I know that sounds really stupid and like sad. It's not optimal sleep. Yeah, no. It's, it's not optimal sleep. Yeah. And then if I got my, my arms are dying, if it's under you. Rude. And then it's just pointless. I think the whole thing's pointless. I think both of you should get a nice resting sleep and then tomorrow treat each other with love. Oh, okay. And I get, at least get a hug in the morning. Yeah. I, I actually I always give you a cuddle in the morning, don't you I? You do, yeah. And I do a kiss routine, don't I? Yep. Yeah, I've got a kiss routine. It goes forehead, cheek, left cheek, cheek, right cheek, kiss. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> really cute. Yeah. What was the uh, convo? Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah, He's but we, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, we're going to go to the cinema at some point. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully, if we get time well, to do that. I keep thinking, you know, ba like Pablo is like the ultimate Barbie haul. I saw your TikTok, yeah. I know, but I feel like I would be missing an opportunity to not You could have got an easy Barbie hard. brand deal. This is what I'm saying. I'm like, you got Barbie Everybody horse. go watch Barbie right now. I'm about to ride my Barbie horse. Barbie, if you're listening. However, her Barbie horse there. has lost all ties with me. Oh, no. Leave him and alone. And I got naming rights on this one. I called him Pablo after Pablo Fornells. He did. Because we wanted Spanish theme. Yeah. And guess what? That fucker has lost privileges with me. Did we speak about it, when he tried to kill me? I don't or think so. Or have we not no, done no, a podcast no, since then? we haven't. We haven't. Okay, we haven't. No. All right, so... It was my fault. It's Faith's fault, but can yeah, I tell yeah. the story? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, <laughs> this is welcome to a life of not being a horseman. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to go down the gym. I take my key. Faith goes, oh, do you mind just trying to get the horses up? It was uh, raining. Yeah. So I couldn't take Olive. So it's pissing so, down. Yeah. I'm stood in the field. I'm ringing the bell at the top of the field because apparently they come up to that. They do. <laughs> it's, it's literally Not a for me, right? These horses go like this. Look at me. They take one look at me and then just stand there and stare at me. They don't care for me. I have no authority but, with these but, horses. But you, you're very monotone. You'd probably be like, Pablo. No, I wasn't. Come. I was giving it the, come on, boys. I even called them Gigi's. Gigi's. Oh, yeah. good job. I even Gigi's. called them Gigi's. And I do the thing. I go, yeah, all of that. Yeah. And they just look at me. And in like, I imagine them looking at each other going, the prick. Yeah. I'm not going up for him. Uh. And they're all stood under the tree house because it was raining. Yeah. And they just would not come up. So... I open the gate. I walk down to them originally yeah. to start getting things moving. And Lorenzo, bless him, my favourite now. Yeah, he's cute. He started coming towards me. By the way, he's like this big. No, overstatement. He's like yeah. this so big. He's, he's, he's so small. He's awesome. I like him now. Mm -hmm. He started the lead. Yeah, it's so good. Vibe. he came up. He started walking with me and I was like, mm -hmm. perfect. And now you've got all the ropes and stuff at the top. Yeah. I don't know how to use them. I don't know how to get it around a horse's head. Just put it over the head. No, but it... You can literally just throw a rope around the neck and they'd come. Okay, well, next time I'm going to... I'm, I'm not doing it next no time, next actually. Time. No, yeah, I'm not doing it next time. <laughs> we get to the gate. They then decide, I'm not going with this prick. Yes, yeah. again. So, I remember the last time Faith asked me to go and get the horse in. She said, get the horse pony nuts mm -hmm. and in shake bucket, them. In a bucket. In a bucket and there. shake them and they'll come. But forgot that Pablo... It has issues around food, yeah. like big issues. Yeah, like he gets he gets violent he, around he, food. He almost kicked me in the chest in a stable because yeah. I went into so the stable. Due while to he his was previous eating. owners, bless him, he's he's, he's he's been mistreated. He's, he's got he? a little bit of trauma around food. Yeah. So I've shaken these nuts to get the ponies coming. Lorenzo's up. Callie's up. Dora's up. I hate that horse as well. Okay. Cool. Dora's up. And then <laughs> here comes Pablo. Before? Pablo starts coming up. Yeah. Cali and Lorenzo, I get them in. No worries. Yeah. They're the two OGs. Okay. We had them first, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like I've got a connection with them too. They're two OGs. Yeah. Such a long winded story. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> Dora and Pablo turn around again mm -hmm. and start heading towards the field. So. It's rude. I shake the nuts again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they come again. They're following me. However, Pablo starts fucking charging at me like he's going to boot me into the fence. So, I'm I'm I got no issue dropping these nuts and running away. No, I'm he quite does. happy to admit. I got a text saying I'm scared. I'm quite happy to admit. I'm scared of this 700 kilo horse booting me. Absolutely, I'm not carrying. I was like, that is such an ick. By the way, I'm I not sent, carrying. I sent it to Tommy. I'm not carrying no injuries off of this brute force muscular animal because of pony nuts. Yeah. So 
this bastard charges at me like he's going to do some real damage. Yeah. So I dropped the nuts. I said, right, you can have them. But then Dora starts trying to eat the nuts, turns around, bucks to kick Pablo in the face. So then now that I've got two horses Horse fighting each other just in the alleyway. It's not an alleyway. I, well, it is, it's not. It it's is. more like... It's uh, literally just... What is it? The ground. It's the ground. It's okay. not an alleyway. So there are, it's like between the stables and the field. Yeah. There's two horses just fighting each other. So I go and hide behind a fence and I say, Faith, you need to come down in now and control your ponies because I'm not getting involved in that. Yeah. They eat the pony nuts. They've had a fight. Pablo's run and off then again. Did, I literally just come down and said, go on, get in your stable. Pablo, and, and they pa yeah. And, but he likes you. Yeah. And then the other night when, because Faith doesn't like the dark. Uh, oh yeah, you just had to come with me, I and I did her. say, "Babe, stay with me." I did stay with you, and then he and then he and, and he gets in the way, and then he tried it again. He did. <laughs> he, his ears. He so a way to tell, yeah, back. is a horse. If they've got the um, their ears like they pin to their necks, right? yeah, and that's when you can tell this horse ain't on it. It don't want to be. Don't want to be friends with you. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. So I'm walking with Faith, and she just starts walking ahead with the other horses, and I'm trying to stay next to her. And Pablo cuts in between us, and Bro's just like getting all like this, turning, and then like gets me up against the hay kept, barn he, he and knew, turns back on me. And I'm like, all right, Faith, I'm not doing this. <laughs> he knew you had treats last time. Yeah. Donnie, I said he's trying to be your friend. No, he's Give not. Him a yeah, you reckon. <laughs> but you yeah, reckon. no, that was my fault because even when you come up to the house after, he was like, oh, Pablo did this, he charged at me, whatever. And I said, why do you do that? And he was like, I don't know. I was just shaking a bucket, blah, blah, blah. And then it clicked and I was like, oh, yeah, no, he's aggressive around food. Sorry, that was my fault. Yeah. So Shouldn't have said that. Faith nearly got my <laughs> Stern and booted in. Yeah, no, he is really aggressive. Like when I went into his stable before, I just, I don't know what, I went to go poop it just mm. at the stable quickly, but he was having his dinner. Completely just didn't think about it because all my other horses are absolutely fine. And he literally was that, that close mm. out of kicking my chest. And yeah. I was like, oopsies, forgot about that. Yeah. But yeah, so, it's a lovely horse other than that though. But he's obviously just been starved in the past. He's yeah. had to fight for food. So, yeah. well, listen. I know last week I, I, it sounded like I do hate everything. Yeah, no, me, the horses, where we live. <laughs> I don't know you. I love you very much. I love our pets. I love our family. I like the fact Just that we have like. like, yeah, I like the fact that we have like animals and stuff hmm. outdoors. I do play the role of, like we say, I'm a Cole Pilkin. Cole Pilkin. I'm a Cole Pilkin. Yeah. And I Big play fam. into it every you now. You could and easily then. have your show on that vibe. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I like them both. There's but no... is it like, because people say to me, there was a, as well, like, oh, girl, you deserve better because um, of what you've been but saying. You like, know. Yeah, of course. We're, ju we're just not. I don't I'm know. moaning like a sarcastic. I think it's funny. Sort of, yeah, because I, I understand the vibe you're saying it in. Like it's not rude. Like yeah. it's funny. It is just. I get the sarcasm. You know you know, the funny thing is, is, is my life is now a stark contrast. Yeah. To what it was three years ago. I know, and I know, it's quite funny. I know when Ethan's actually mad at me because he has one word that he uses. What is it? Unbearable. And it fucks me off so much. And I got a comment <laughs> on TikTok the other day saying, just use the five six seven nine eight six six whatever. And it said unbearable. <laughs> so I screenshot it to him and I sent it and I said, Is this your burner account? <laughs> yeah, I've I've I've, I've th I think I've said it three or four times yeah. in our relationship. And I think it was after the third time Faith put a ban on it and said, like, yeah, right, this like one word words, I really fucks me up. I don't say anything like that to you, do I? I don't, I'm no. not a big name uh, I, caller. It's when, I, when I've really had it, I'll go, oh, fucking unbearable. Yeah, but I won't uh, ever call names. No. I'm, so, I'm nice like that. But no, you're not unbearable. You're lovely. Oh, cheers. Uh, Sidemen Wheel of Fortune this week. Yeah. Caused chaos. It did. I've, uh, seen, I I've am... seen the videos. I need to see your... Oh, you want to see it? Yeah, because I know you come so home I've and actually got the it. I've got the raw footage of me being hit with the golf ball. Okay. Uh, where is it? Here she is. So, all right. Whenever you're ready. Oh, just because just, I need to speak into the mic. So you hold it and talk into your mic and press play. Okay, cool. Just press play, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Ooh. And don't worry, there's more angles than that coming in. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Yeah. Your scars and your stitching, the way it's, it's not all around his back, it mm. goes down into, into the bum, bum cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. And that is exactly where it looks like it hit you. It did. So and hit, that was the hardest part hit, to heal. It hit like, it hit just to the right of my bum cheek and just above the stitching. But, yeah. So should we just dive into it? Because I am, along with Simon, now the most hated sideman. Poor Simon. Uh, he is. He, me and Simon are getting here at the minute. Yeah. I'm on a bad streak at the minute with these lot. 
first guy. So me and Simon are friends been, now. That's why I don't get it. No, I've been cooked. The last month of my life, Simon related, yeah. has been nothing but depression. Yeah, no, you've, you've been getting some bad comments. I get I miscommunicated the colleagues thing. But this one, <laughs> bro, I got fucking walloped with the average male. And I will say, Harry is no average male. Oh, no, no, no. Harry is Harry's Harry's strong. really fucking yeah. strong. And he golfs a fucking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got a 300-yard carry in that driver. I've, I've which, th- by the way, even Proddy will know, is no fucking joke, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, The average male will drive a golf ball around 133 miles an hour. Yeah, no, so that's hard. So I'm going to put an average. I think Harry's drove this ball about 150-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From five yards away. I've seen that man fall off of roofs and just be fine. And by the way, Josh's mm-hmm. hit is Achilles. Yeah. I'd, I would take the Achilles shot. 100%. I don't think either of us nice, but that, that... I, I said this on Saga. I don't even really care about justifying myself. Yeah. But I, I had the ump after that because it really fucking hurt. And the last place that was healing on me... You did have you've a seen lot all of the bruising. bruising. Yeah. The so, bruising was yes, insane. Yes, you can see that it's above the stitching, but the stitching around, it's all swollen and bruised. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like it's horrid. It, it, even now when I do sit-ups, yeah. it still doesn't yeah, feel of it's the nicest. Cut open I'll send a layers. picture to you to put on the pod yeah. of what the bruising was like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is one up to me about 150 miles an hour. I've yelped. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. the ump. And then for the rest of the game, I don't even want the chance to hit another forfeit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm course. just I'm done with it. Yeah. Point. I mean th- those forfeits were lethal. I'm Whatever done with it. Whatever you was point. gonna get weren't um, gonna be nice. So and I see a lot of people saying, Oh, Ethan well knew the the consequences of, of just standing there and taking that. I, s- I swear no. He could have done something else. Harry's. So let's clear that up. Yeah. Josh <laughs> said, I'm not taking another one for you. I said, give me the deep heat now. I'll put the deep heat all over my bollocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I'll, I'll do any other forfeit you've got now. In the gooch. Don't make me do this. I was, I had to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the forfeits went round on like a, once you've done it, you go on to the next one. Yeah. Uh, I said, please just give me any other one. No, you've got to do this one. Mm. So it's not like, I knew the fucking consequences. I said, please don't. It, it, was, it was bad. It kind of fell onto you because of your yeah. operation. But, yeah. but I, don't, I don't know. These people wouldn't even take a football to the fucking kneecap. So <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I couldn't give a fuck, man. I've ruined another video. Unlucky. I Moving don't know. But I think people are underestimating how much that's actually going to hurt. Hmm. I got hit with a wet football in the face once in year 11. Do you know how hard it was to not cry? Yeah. Let alone that. <laughs> well, I'm on a streak now of ruining inside my videos. Oh, congratulations, so, King. Yeah, I, I might do what they want. I might leave. No, don't say that. This, that's going to get trolled now. <laughs> that's going to be clipped. Here we go. Yeah. Do you know how many messages I get as well saying, um, I literally got one star as a block it, so I should block anyone. Um, but they, they was like, um, oh, you're ruining Ethan, like you're ruining the sideman. Just let Ethan do what he wants. You do. I do let him do what he wants. Let me do what he wants. <laughs> Bro, I take over everything at home yeah. just so you can work. I play football on a Sunday. I he play, does everything. I play Shoreditch on a Thursday. I have golf lessons. And when do I ever say no to anything? No, you're, you're, ever. You are a good woman. And at what point in my life have I ever been in control of Sidemen videos, Sidemen correspondence, Sidemen <laughs> at all? That's Am I in the group chat? No. I, I just think people have that. Like They always think, oh yeah. As soon as someone gets a missus or a child mm. or whatever, that's it. They'd fit. I mean, I've been around pretty much for years, guys. Relax. Yeah, you're here now. I, I've been here. You're a bit of furniture now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, I got walloped. I've ruined another video. Tune in next week because there's <laughs> another good video. Um, hopefully, I don't ruin that one as well. Oh, um, all the boys went to Maryland. They did. It looked, yeah. it looked quite cool, to be fair. I've never been. I've Amsterdam, never been to Maryland. Amsterdam. Belgium. 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 Brussels. Brussels. Yeah. Uh, I've, ne- I've never actually been to Tomorrowland. Yeah. But it's all like EDM. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I saw, so I I saw the videos. I, I don't yeah. look like my. I don't necessarily kind of get FOMO of the boys going to those type of ones because I just don't care for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What one it. would you really like to go to? I went to Best of All years and years ago with, yeah. with Harry, Cal, Harry's mate, Buenzo, and Matilda. Mm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so went, went to that one, loved it. But I just don't, I'm actually not really a festival goer. Are you not? No. I love a techno. Do you? Love a techno. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel, I feel like I'm not like a We Are Festival girl because that's no. just clouty. And I was very scram. much a, a wireless I, man. What one did it? Uh, it's called Junction 2. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Loved it. You take it. No, I'm very much a, a wireless man. Like I enjoy going, seeing like I'm a Drake, seeing like a Skepta yeah, or something I've, I've like that. See bad comments about that one. What one? 
wireless. Really? Yeah. Nowadays. That'd be Joe's. Nah, yeah, but nowadays it's, <laughs> it, it got too bait for us to go. Yeah, of course. Because everybody knew who we were yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a very young audience. So yeah, like now, this, is, this is like the sad thing now because I'm like Billy No Mates, but Ethan's too well recognised, so I can't go to anything. I'm like, babe, do you want to come? And then I'm like, no, it's not even going to work. Can't even go Lakeside, can we? Hmm. But, but yeah, so I, I'm not actually a festival goer. Yeah, I much prefer like. It did uh, look cool. I, I feel like the stage though for me, the set, I like. I would like to walk to different stages. It just it's yeah. like one massive one and just a massive. I think crowd. there is different stages at Tomorrowland, right? Is yeah, there, there, oh, there, there is, is. Yeah, but there's the main one that you'll see is like the yeah. extravaganza. Oh, okay, fair. fair but yeah, Vic Star now he's he's got so many DJ friends now. Yeah, though. I mean that Vic set Star, went off. Vic Star is out here. Oh, Vic's live set, man. Went. Off. It actually slaps, by the yeah. way. But me and Faith just really enjoy the. He's in a room with no one there, right? <laughs> and Donnie's giving it a. <laughs> they just killed me man but I get it because it's smart from him you gotta sell it no yeah. but it's smart from him because now when people want to book him or something he can literally just send him a link and be like this is pretty much my set yeah 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 do you want to book me or not yeah it's actually really smart yeah no of course um, so well then Vic Star hopefully you can go back to back with like an Afro Jack or something one day that would be cool I, and, and for something like that I'd like to be there yeah but, oh yeah of course uh, but it's I just, your boys thing that music don't hit man yeah yeah don't yeah you know that I'm very much like a you're like a housey kind of guy aren't I, you I like a I like a vocal house tune yeah but not like a oops, oops, oops yeah. one I yeah. like a little vocal house tune yeah yeah but other than that it's just Drake mm. all that yeah, sort of stuff rap stuff yeah I am um what else has happened? Just Stop Oil stuff this week. Oh my God. Have you seen the video where the woman is trying to get a baby to the hospital? When yes. I say I would run that man down in the car. Allegedly, by the way, she would, uh, she would run them down. I'd be like, you need no, to allegedly move. Allegedly, you would. Allegedly, I would. Yeah. There yeah. You no. So if I say my baby's in the back, I've got to go to the hospital, you've got to move. If he don't move within three seconds, mm. best believe I'm going and you can either go over the yeah. top of the car, allegedly, or mm. round the side. <laughs> so I'm not 100% clued up on what Josh Peters Why done. do you think you take babies to hospital? So far, But uh, Josh Peters is like, he's really good at those type of videos where like he'll get into like, he's done it before with uh, Katie, Katie Hopkins, right? He got into like Katie Hopkins personal with her and all this stuff. And he mugs off people, right. essentially. I don't know So he, he got in with the Just just Stop Oil people to mug them off. Okay. But I so will say... against them. Yeah. Okay, to, cool. to say about these Just Stop Oil people, you're pissing off the wrong people. Yeah. Go and piss off the ones that you're just pissing off people that are the just normal trying to people live, get to their jobs, just trying to exist yeah, for the day. Literally, imagine if someone's on like hourly pay. Some a lot of people don't have like no. I don't know x amount a month. Yeah, regardless, a lot of people go and they earn their hours, and you're just holding them up in traffic. Yeah, I think the just stop oil stuff. It needs to just stop. How about that? Go Queen. Do you want me to lead again? Should I lead? <laughs> I more? think it should be a slogan. This just just stop oil stop. So, yeah. <laughs> this just stop all stuff needs to just stop put that on a banner oh that was <laughs> awful that was so nice yeah <laughs> Nike need to do it just stop instead yeah. of just do it just yeah stop. I, don't, I don't know I just feel like you're not gonna stop anything all right the you're last just stopping us getting to work yeah exactly mm -hmm. the last trending topic that we got okay okay for you mm -hmm. is uh Apple has threatened to remove FaceTime for UK residents I see this. before weakening security Okay. Nightmare or an absolute touch for long distance couples. <laughs> um, listen, Apple, I swear WhatsApp already, I already stemmed from some Samsung phones and they bought into it, no? I don't know, man. I'm this pretty could be sure. A, I'm pretty like sure. A, it's a not a phone conspiracy, conspiracy for Faith. It's in. not. It's not. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened because iPhone didn't always have WhatsApp, no? I'm pretty certain it was an iPhone that had it first. I'm pretty sure it was always a Samsung thing. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure. We're going to have to fact check, but I'm We may sure. have to fact check me, but anywho, people are just going to get Samsung. Because you I can watch that FaceTime, can't you? I don't FaceTime. I don't even call. No, Olive FaceTimes you. Olive FaceTimes Olive. me, yeah. Olive <laughs> FaceTimes me when, we're, when I'm away or something. Yeah. Which is cute. But like, you're lucky if you get a 30 second phone call out of me. Yeah, he don't, I'll, I'll go, when he goes on like sideman trips or whatever, I'm like, oh babe, just call me or give me a FaceTime when you're there. But I don't hear. I'm not I get a caller. A text, I'm I've, here. Never, I've <laughs> never been a caller. I've, I don't think, I could, I could probably count. I can, uh, when you answer the phone is where you go, hello, every yeah. time. It don't change. You just hello. sound confused. Hello. Yeah, because I want to know why you're calling me. You like know that. I'm not a caller. Why are you calling me? Your voice is like up and down. It's like, can you open the gate, please? Thank you. <laughs> because. <laughs> like, why do you sound yeah, like because, that? Because like, it's a simple prompt. That's all I'm using it for. If you don't answer the text, I'm just going to ring you and go, can you open the gate, please? Yeah, exactly. Can you open the gate, please? Can you open the gate, please? What's with that? Just because I'm being nice. Singing. I'm being nice. Can you open the gate, please? <laughs> 
It, may, it, may, it adds a little bit of flavor to it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, but yeah, I removing FaceTime won't affect me. However, I can see... Because I, I see people, especially in London, people like walk down the street FaceTiming people. Mm. And like on the train home that I we get... I like it's just a massive seller for the iPhone. Yeah, on the train home that we get, I constantly see people FaceTiming. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. evidently, it must be a major I've, thing. I FaceTime dad when he's in B&Q and he's picking Oh, your dad on FaceTime is the best, man. Yeah. It's just here. <laughs> I it's, go, it, it's the yeah, best shit, man. I, I go, love it. I go, dad, it's FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, and then he'll, like, he'll be looking at her, then he'll go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just earshots. But, but yeah, I feel like it's a main seller for the iPhones. So I feel like you start giving away your mm. best attributes, kind of thing. Well, it's because of security or whatever. But I'd, I'm going to be. What security I don't really does care. that breach? I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so about... uh, we're going to move on. Okay. To the baby pros and cons of the week. Cool. I know what our baby's done this week. What's she done? She slept through the night. Oh, yeah. Three or three times? Three times in three a row. Three times. Woo Go on, girl. Go, baby. She's not done that since February. 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 <laughs> yeah, man. Baby slept through the night. I know. It's actually a joke because like we said before, I did it for so long and now Ethan started doing it sleeping through. What's that about? Yeah. What's no, that about? really impressed with her this week. Yeah, I bet. Like absolutely buzzing. <laughs> However, bet. last night howler. Oh my god, last night. <laughs> last night howler. Whoa. Yeah. She said I'm gonna cause chaos. She had that three nights. Had chicken three nights. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it went that was some bad crying, wasn't yeah. it? I was like I was actually a little bit worried because I was like, Oh my god, does she have an ear infection? Like yeah. it's something because you know when babies are tired, they play with their ears, but I'm like, this scream isn't just that was bad. It was something was wrong. I do think there's a theory mm. behind the fruit thing too late. I do think there yeah, is yeah, some yeah, sort of... Yeah, yeah, because the last... The three nights she slept, yeah. I didn't give her any she fruit. She had like rice or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she had bland yeah. fruit. Bland, uh -huh, oh my God, bland <laughs> foods. But last night... Yeah. She had strawberries. Yeah. And obviously stuff. strawberries for the natural sugars. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. we've read before as well, mm. theory is, that the sugar can, can keep them up. It can give them a little bit of like a... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, last night was stress, man. So stress. But obviously it was her in pain cry, so yeah. I would think it ties down to teething. Yeah, so she came in our room. Yeah. Had a little sleep on. Stayed up the whole night. Yeah, had a little sleep on yeah, you. The, the thing is, though, her hands come across, you just be asleep, and then your eye will almost be gauged out. <laughs> like, <she> gouged. <laughs> but she slaps you on the head, doesn't she? Yeah. She stands up and even goes, bah, 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 and then just slaps you, she doesn't she? She hits me, man. She pulls his eye mask off, which I'm quite happy about because that is a low-key ick. But... Um, <laughs> that one was a little partnership there but like Olive take it off yeah <laughs> but then with me she'll just I don't know it's always a sneak attack on my eyes yeah no so she's she's actually been really cool she has been good girl. really cool this week uh, she is now getting so close to standing up oh yeah she, she lets go doesn't she and for like a 10 month old baby crazy yeah 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 she'll stand up she did it the other day she kind of she, it's so funny yeah. she's so big bless her she <laughs> let go of the sofa and then she kind of yeah there's let like, go a, like that and then just plump down but it was a good five seconds yeah there's on like a own. couple seconds hold before she starts like wobbling then, yeah, yeah, yeah but she's done she that. knows how to get herself down now as well she though does, like she, she don't just go like down. that yeah um, she, does, she gets down properly yeah, yeah, yeah um also baby wise this week mm -hmm. i wanted to bring it up we went to a soft play centre. Oh, yeah. So we, we, we do like a baby sensory oh, class on Mondays. About me. Where you go there yeah. and they wave bubbles and that about and this it's like really good the for them, gets them going. Yeah. Uh, however, this is about me. Yeah. Yeah. We had a, uh, it's about you and the baby. Uh, we had a, a spare afternoon, didn't we? Which yeah. is rogue. Right. But we don't really get those. Yeah, but I got mum guilt, so I love to take her yeah, out. Yeah, so we go every out. Every day I have to take her out. We go soft play centre. Mm -hmm. So it's about a 25 minute drive away. Um, never been there before. No. Nope. Well, right, let's give it a crack. Mm -hmm. So we get there. There's like bigger kids there. That like bigger Olive's, kids Olive's running the around. Yeah, she's well, one she of the youngest. youngest yeah. yeah. We get there. Faith gets in and the soft play with her has a little bit of a laugh. Whatever. I would order the food, mm -hmm. and I notice that Faith is talking to another mum of a baby. Go me. Of a baby that Shout is out Mumsy. like just a, just a little bit older than Olive. Two weeks older than Olive. Mum was around my age. Yeah. She was a stay-at-home mum. It was one of those ones. I was sat there waiting for the food to come and I, I was actually thinking in my head, I was like, oh, this is actually really nice seeing Faith like Interact. Inter I, interact. I, yeah. I take her to baby sensory groups. Like, the mums are just older, aren't yeah. they? And, and there's like little they've got their, already, yeah, yeah, they've got their clicks and I'm just yeah. like, I'm not in them. And, and I think I that, can't that's what that's them. what comes with being a young mum. If you if you like because people end up having kids older, you might not have like 
many other friends that have yeah, children yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah. So I was actually sat there <laughs> and I was thinking, this is actually really nice. Mm. Like I, I'm liking watching this. It's nice. Yeah. And then you went and ate your food and I got in there. I spoke to her a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I let them play around with each other. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> my voice just went crazy, didn't it? I had like a bubble in my throat. Um, so yeah, but then as we were leaving in the car... I was. I, was, I just uh, walked out and I was like, okay, see you later. And I got in the car was and it, I was did like... Did you bring it on first or did I? No, I did. I was yeah. like, I so should have asked for a number. Yeah. I was like, do I just long shop it on Instagram and be like, hi, if you was the mum at a soft place to go yeah. or whatever. And I said to Faith, I said, I'm shocked you didn't ask for that her number. I was like, scary I was like, asking for a girl's very, number, isn't it? she said as well, she Ooh. was like, she she didn't work either. She was pretty much like full-time mum. Mm -hmm. um, both uh, uh, and either. What? You said didn't work either for our work. No, I was just saying, no, but you like... I'm at home. You're at home. You have, you, <laughs> I work yeah. from home. Yeah, okay, yeah that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> just clarify. Um, so she she's at home. Mm -hmm. You're at home. Yeah. It just made sense. Could have gone on coffee dates. Exactly. <laughs> it just made sense. And I said to you, didn't I? I was like, I'm shocked you didn't actually just... And like the, her baby was her as well. Little baby, wasn't it? Little baby girl. Yeah. Um, yeah, two weeks older than Olive. And it was yeah. one of them where we were having a conversation. It was just flowing nice. Just, it, it and I was like, like wow, so what a nice like woman. Yeah, like, because I usually, feel like I could be her friend. Like at these baby groups, there are usually like, like we say, like they're little cliques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something. Or like they're older. Uh, this is, yeah. So woman at Soft Play Centre, Landon in Landon. In Landon, yeah. That was friends with Faith. I and know he had is, brown hair. This is going to uh, be. Was her baby be, called like Willow or something? I think so. It was along those lines. Well, yeah. Well, if we've messed up the name, and sorry. My but and my baby kept cuddling you. Yes. Didn't she? She was really. Olive was really cuddling Olive her. Olive liked her. So. Please, can we be besties? Faith would like <laughs> to be your friend. Can everyone just like clip this and share it everywhere? Because I'm really trying to track her down. This would be really funny. She's going to think media. I may be a stalker. Like, this is a bit odd. This is what I was about to say. I was going to preface this with like. Sorry, From this comes across so odd. Yeah. But Faith has social issues where like <laughs> she doesn't like like you struggle with to make friends. Yeah, you bottle it. Not not by being bitchy. I just mean I'm actually it. really quite shy. Yeah, yeah. Like with new people, I really am just And not... Olive has that, by the way. Olive yeah, around Olive's new really people shy is very as much well. like Yeah. Not too sure. Whereas you're really like loud, you can talk to anyone, whereas I could kind of stand there like with my hands in my pocket. Yeah. And it's not like being a bitch or resting bitch face. No. I generally can't start conversations. Yeah, but that's like, why I'm it not was so chatty. That's enough. why it was so nice for me to see yeah. you just have a chat. I was like, this is sick. And it went from Olive going to pull her hair from my It would also be like it would also be like it's nice for me that say like if I was out I and you said oh, I'm out friend. with so and so yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to know that you're I doing go that. I out on my own. Yeah. It's nice to know that you're doing that. So. Because someone someone said as well in the comments, like, oh, Faith forced Ethan to have a baby because all of her friends are having babies. Bro, number one, I have no friends. Two, my imaginary friends do not have babies. I am the only one. No. I'm I, not. I, I need so this is why this girl, babies, man. I've been this girl, this. I was like, oh my God, she's the only person that I've actually clicked with. Imagine if she mm. thought I was bare rod and I've just reached out on a whole I social know. platform. Listen, we know it's odd, but yeah. we promise we're cool. And like, this my baby's cool too. Yeah, my baby likes you. Cold. So yeah, you're in. Yeah, you're, in. you're um, in. However, I need more baby friends. You Not do. baby friends. That's a bit odd. I need more <laughs> friends with babies. Yeah. Uh, Cal Freezy turned down the proposal. I know. The missus messaged me. She's yeah, like yeah. five years mi minimum. I was like, bro, Olive's going to be about seven by the time they Any their of these kid children, hits their by first the way, baby. Olive's going to be like the big sister. Like She's just going to yeah. be older. Like when you all want to go soft play, I'd be like, sorry, my kid's too old. We're going to have to go full who, park. Who's next? <laughs> who, who's next for the growing pains finger? Yeah. Uh, um, Could it be a Vic star? Vic star. Put the decks down and put the dick in. Oh, time to go. Uh, that was, that was, that was actually quite cool, wasn't it? It was cool, but it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> That one's doing numbers on the TikTok. That that's, one, that's that getting one, that, one, that one's going viral. Yeah, man, Vic Star, you got the puppy, man. You got the house. Vic Time Star, to go. Do it in the one, two, three. Let's Bang. Go. Let's go. JJ seems like he wants a kid as well. JJ soft launched. JJ soft JJ launched. soft launched. Oh my god, this is massive. All the girl on Instagram are gonna be like, oh my god, trying to find I, her. He's to gonna hate her. the fact that we've got a podcast, by the way. <laughs> 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 Bro has not posted a whiff of his yeah. missus ever, by Mystery the way. Girl. And then 
posted I know. a waterfall pic Who took on that holiday. Big, big Steve. It was Steve. <laughs> oh, it was Steve. Yeah, Steve, Steve. 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 This would be so, sick. <laughs> yeah. uh, JJ obviously went on a lovely trip with his missus and soft launched the missus. He did soft launch. Although you can't see anything. You can't. You couldn't just work like two out. people yeah, under yeah, a waterfall. Yeah. yeah. Mind blowing. Oh, of course. I couldn't believe it. Of course, yeah. I was first. I jumped in the chat and put, oh my God, KSI soft launch. I saw it three hours later and I was like, oh my God, Ethan, have you seen yeah. this? I said, oh my God, lads. And this is the troops chat, by the way, with all seven side men, cow, cow, Radley. Ooh, everyone. Yeah. yeah. So like the troops. The boys, yeah. Um, and I've whacked in there. I've said, boys, this is game changing. He's soft launched. Yeah. This is mind blowing. And then I said, and then I started plopping the seed in there and we done our detective work. We said, congrats on the engagement, bro. Oh yeah, you did say that. Because <laughs> how, how much was the flight out there? Oh, I'm not, and then I'm not going to go into too many details for him because I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, but he's gone on a nice trip with his missus. Um, he soft launched and he we did. just started going, lads. He's done it. Well done, man. Considering the last holiday picture was his bum and like an Aquarian kind of vibe. It was just his room in the Maldives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the last picture. I feel like we've mm. really leveled up here. We really have, yeah. <laughs> this is under the waterfall. It was cute though. Launch. Do you know what? It kind, it, of gi- it kind of gives me like Facebook mum. Do you know when your like, parents go away <laughs> on like a trip and they're like yeah. in their 50s, 60s and someone takes a picture of them like no, it was, it was funny though. It gives me those vibes. He, uh, we all started doing our detective work and we said, Congrats, man. Really, really happy for yeah. you. He came in the chat like four hours later and was like, you lost so weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just started laughing. But yeah, um, monumental moment. Yeah. Really big. So KSI, man. Congrats. Congrats, bro. Um, but yeah, what's next? Oh, shit, it's me. Sorry. Let's go, show host. Sorry. Sorry. Where are we at? My phone's so slow on this as well. Oh my God, should I lose my head? Oh! Once when my boyfriend was at uni, four hours away, and I was at home, we were on FaceTime. He lived in a flat of eight people. 15 minutes into the FaceTime, he says he's really tired and he seemed to be falling asleep. So I said, we can catch up tomorrow and good night. 10 minutes later, one of his flatmates posted a snap of him mm, dancing around the kitchen, very much not asleep. When I questioned him at that point, he said he didn't know why he said that, but he suddenly wasn't tired. Fair to say I wasn't happy about him. It, no, with him, sorry. Fucked up the last You're really two good. bits. Reading thing, man. <laughs> You're the best. Do you know what? I can see where the anger comes across, but I generally actually wouldn't be mad because I've been in situations where I'm so tired. Do you know and what And then this just is? someone has gone, oh, do you want to do this? I'm this like, no. Is, they're like, no, it'd be sick. Come on, do it. This is a prime Ethan move. Oh, really? Yeah, this is prime Ethan move. This is what I would call. To be fair, you longed is, me off once because he said he was asleep all day. This is the, uh, this is the on the phone version of, I'm just going to the toilet. You know my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to expose myself here. If we're at a social event mm. and we're in a chat and I say, oh, I'm just going to nip to the toilet. Just know that's because I couldn't, I can't operate the combo anymore. Dead, I can't yeah. operate the combo yeah. anymore. So I would do this on the phone. It can, it's re- a, it can really, oh, I'm really go tired two now. ways. I'm just go to sleep. Yeah, it can really go two ways. He's either bored and he wants to get out of that combo and just have fun with his boys. Listen, if it's just boys, fair play. Mm. If there's a gal... Yeah. And yeah, then he said, no, the babes, I'm out. <laughs> I feel like your mind could run wild with this one. It, oh, no, of course. Um, uh, it's the fact she said it's four hours away. That's the head fuck. She yeah. can't just go and be like, hey. No, exactly. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, um, if you can hear crinkling, by the way, it's because I'm trying to get some protein in my body. Nice. So I just wanted to acknowledge it rather than there just being crinkling in the background. Yeah. I think this is fine. Mm. I think this is absolutely fine. Everyone is allowed a, I'm tired. I'm going to go to the toilet or like, because it's better than saying... But the thing is, if you're honest, just be like, oh, like the boys are doing something downstairs. I'd just rather go and do what they're doing. Like, I'll mm. talk to you tomorrow. That would have been way more respectable than oh, I'm going to bed dancing on tables. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd be a bit like, hmm, I thought you was going to bed. Like, that's where it gets a little bit techy. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a massive argument no. starter. But it's like, why can't you just... No, he's fine. said, babe, I'll speak to you tomorrow. I'm just no. gonna... That's He's way fine. more respectable. Get on with it. Not losing my head at that. Okay, cool. I mean, I wouldn't overly lose it, no, but just be like, hmm, yeah. I, iron it out next time. Could be more seamless. Right, next one. I've been dating my boyfriend for nearly three years and I've caught him watching porn on multiple, <laughs> multiple occasions. I personally don't like my partner watching porn whilst in relationships as I feel like it affects our sexual life. Last year when it happened, he said it will never happen again. But a year later, he left on his Google page whilst trying to show me some thing he said this time he will never watch it again but i just can't trust him anymore worst of he can't make me finish oh no oh you didn't have to do him like that though 
You didn't have to do him like that. My there was no need for that bit on the end. Threw him under because that was like last hurdle. Like you gave us the issue, but then just said, and by the way, you can't make me finish. But porn is all fake. You probably can't make a girl finish. And I would say a lot of the times in porn, the man finishes, not the woman, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like they they put more Yeah. Prominence on the man. Do you think watching it is fine? I think Plot twist, I wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like with everything, there's there's balance in life. Mm-hmm. There's balance in life. If you want to tug, you can tug, but don't let it corrupt your actual sex life. Yeah. It, as soon as you are like watching too much of it, yeah, and you get an unrealistic idea of sex, mm-hmm. that's when it's an issue. Bro, I just I'm with her. I don't like it. Yeah, I know you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Won't get into our little story. I think it's, I think it's fine, man. I, I like just not too much. Yeah, I think not too much. But she's saying it is like affecting. Their yeah, sex yeah, that's life. what I mean. So it I has, feel like it, boys can just end up tugging, like you say, and then not having sex. Hmm. Um. <laughs> um. Again, I've been fucking <laughs> trying to do eyes like that. Listen, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it like that because I can. Um, get into it like that <laughs> but i don't i don't know nah, i'm not with it i feel like if, if if he can't make her finish as well that's an l yeah you, listen so, girl i'm not saying we're gonna finish every time but once in a while would be nice and i i can do that yeah no of course but i'm just saying for him for mm. her it's boring having sex yeah they've, they've get the reward they, it's like a reward <laughs> uh you've had a howler lad too much porn corrupting your vision yeah and you're not focusing on pleasing your woman. Listen, it's giving Sims too. Why are you interested? I'm just yeah. living it online. Yeah, a bit it's odd. It's like jumping in the swimming pool and taking away yeah, that's the what I mean. That's what I mean. There's like a happy balance. Oh ballad. my God, it actually is like jump, putting a sim in a pool and taking out the ladder, isn't it? Because you just fucking can How get yourself... How is watching porn like that? Because you can get yourself off but then taking out the ladder into your own relationship. Wow. I don't think that's the analogy to go by, but yeah. It's kind of the same thing though, really. <laughs> Awesome. If What's you next? kind of think about it. No? Final fuck though. I think fucked. Like how you I've, just called it like the, the the side plus segment. Final fuck though. Oh, um, what, what's that one called? Lose, lose my head. Oh yeah, lose, lose, your, my head. <laughs> lose your head. Yeah. Lose your head. Yeah, I yeah. Think lose You're my valid head. to lose like, your head. Especially yeah. if you've taught him how to make you finish. Because mm. I'm not saying girls are simple. Girls are like, you got to have a manual for that shit. Like girls aren't easy. I'll give him that. With a boy, all you got to do is tickle their belly button and they'll probably come. So, Bear with me, bro. <laughs> Women, mm-hmm. see how you got like. We got mechanisms. Say you got TVs, right? You got different models of TVs, yeah? Yeah. Every TV has a different remote. Every TV works in a different way. Oh, yeah. Girls, and there's so, no two girls the same. There's though, like right? a grace period where you got to knuckle down and do your revision, homie. Yeah. You got to yeah. learn. Yeah. And if you have too much of an ego where you can't like mm. say. Yeah. I feel like, like we can do dis- yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, I, I've, I've you openly study. said yeah. to Faith, tell me. Yeah, bro. I come with like a fucking 400 page manual. But I, I, but I think you've got to drop the ego in, in that Yeah, thing. because listen, there was a, there was kind of like a, um, a little, like you say, an ego thing for the both of us. It's like, I don't kind of want to sell it. Hey, I want to tell you. Like, buddy, this isn't working. Yeah. yeah. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. But then uh, for the, like you want the win. Exactly. So I kind of said to you like. Do this. Do that, do this, yeah, do this, do that, do this, do that. <clears throat> every 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 product but, has a different manual, but is what I'm saying. It's a goal every time. Exactly. When when we do it. Yeah. So um I'm I'm promoting to the male world, knuckle down and do your revision, yeah. homie. I don't think there's I think a girl would rather you asking because I'm not being I funny. Think, if I, th- you, I feel like a lot of girls you're not gonna have orgasms off of sex. That's no. just a write off for us, but it's it's a head game for women. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. But um, I think as well, it brings you closer together as well. Oh, of course. I, I'm not being funny. If you're down there and it's shit, it's so shit. It's like a yeah. fucking wet dog. <laughs> just having a little fucking lick around. Like it's in the water dead. bottle, just it's, going nuts. It's just, but if you're in the wrong place, it don't feel good at all. So I, like me slurping my spit. Yeah, you'd rather just tell him and then just have it be banging. Exactly. I think there's no shame in it. I think you need to talk about it. But. Sis, I, personally, if he keeps doing it, I wouldn't be with him because one, he can't make you come and two, he's still going to be watching porn. Sorry. Jeez, hold that. Sorry. Next one. 
Oh, next one. Couples therapy. Oh, wow. Ooh. Well, aren't you lucky? You've got two qualified therapists right here. Yeah. Because our relationship is so good. <laughs> well, everyone thinks it is actually pants, but it is actually quite good. Breaking up so. within a year, apparently. <laughs> My girl wrongfully accused me of snooping in her phone, but I swear on God, I don't remember shit. In the, This is funny. I can't really tell the type of person I would have put this in. In the morning, she was livid as she told me that I tried to reach the phone underneath the pillow two to three times and she went sleeping in the other room crying all night because I didn't trust her. I don't remember one bit of this and I recall putting down my phone and going to sleep. That's it. Usually I put the hand under the pillow to seek her hand sometimes when we sleep together kind of cute uh what what are your thoughts about this one i felt like i should have read that with an accent it would have been sick i have a theory on this one mm -hmm. <clears throat> why is your phone under the pillow that's a massive fire hazard that's uh, this that's really true. this Please is a lady that. with a fireman dad that's really <laughs> really go. unsafe See that? yeah that, that's unsafe uh <clears throat> i got theory about this mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. He holds her hand on the pillow. She knows that he does that anyway. Yeah. And if your phone's under there, why are you so defensive mm. about him trying to grab the phone in his sleep? Yeah. Why are you so bothered about him trying to no, grab but the phone? No, but you say this, but that is, you did this at Top Golf on your birthday. I said, babe, just give me your phone. I did do that, yeah. yeah. like three times. And it so made me wanting to start an argument because I was so defensive <laughs> about it. But then you raise these same points. It's only because I said it to you the other day, wasn't it? But um, I was like, oh, babe, just leave it. He was like, oh, I'm going to go to the toilet. And I but like, I didn't realise I was being set up. Yeah, because the gates call our phone and all of his friends were coming to our surprise house. Surprise party, by the way. Surprise yeah. party, yeah. So I didn't want anyone to ring through. So I was like, oh, babe, why don't you just leave your phone with me and, and I'll see what babe we're in. He was like, no, I'll just take it with me. But he did it three times. And I was like, oh, babe, just if you just give me your then, phone, I'll did just it track like, the maps. You did it for and the weirdest like, shit. No, it's like, all right. If you ain't got signal, I ain't got signal. No, I was you, like, oh my God. You did it for the weirdest argument. shit. You did it for the food menu. Yeah. And I was like, well, you can scan the QR code as well. You don't need my phone for that. But you already So I was getting out. I was getting so confused by it. And I was like, well, no. No, but seriously, that almost started now. Like, it's the same conversation. It's bro, like, why are you being so defensive? You, you can, give me your fucking phone. You can take my phone from me, man. Thank that's you. Fine. No, I actually don't mind because I'm your home screen. So I feel like that's kind of cute. You are, yeah. You and Oliver, my home screen. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of cute. Um, but um, I kind of feel like it's giving red flags in the relationship anyway. Because I've never actually felt the need to snoop through. I don't think I've ever snooped through your phone, ever. No. Yeah, I think I think there's oh, if he's too defense, if she's getting. If defense, you're looking for stuff, yeah, but he, he's he doesn't remember doing this. He's just he's trying to hold her hand. Yeah, but a lot of boys don't remember stuff, babe. So I'm not buying that. No, so no you way. think he is actually trying to snoop? Oh, what that girl whined on me in the club? Oh, I don't remember that. No, what? Boy, I, never what? That. I never knew that. <laughs> so you think he's actually trying to snoop? You think he was looking uh, for her? Mm. Listen, I understand the girls crying all night thing, but then I understand a lot of girls. A good, we're good actors sometimes. Yeah, you, know you I mean? got specimens. You can play that card and you can play it well. EastEnders. Mm. Jeez, wallop. Yeah, but mm, I don't know. Couples therapy on this one. Don't go through each other's phones I and think, trust uh, each I other. I just personally think you're both fucked. Yeah. But, I Without the snooping, I feel like you ain't got no it's workable. communication. It's, it's, workable. it's workable. Just workable. put your phone in the drawer and that way you'll hear it if you actually Or just like it. <laughs> put it down. Like that, that's what yeah. we do. Yeah. Sometimes you still shop at 3 a.m. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do do that. I've got Faith will wake up I'll from sleep and, and buy, buy something. something. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. I wouldn't want to go for your phone because it'd just be 100 shopping tabs. All my uh, emails are just receipts. Yeah. And I'm bollocks. But I it does, it does give me the up, though. I didn't even know that. I, I walk past her and I go, you fucking shopping again? Yeah. With my money, just saying. Yes, it's not It's not my money, everyone. <laughs> it isn't my money. She isn't ruining my money. <laughs> Thank you. Um. So, yeah. I think it's workable. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Completely workable. I was literally just thinking about my car situation. You, oh, my you God. Yeah. You money and it's, and it's just triggered me. I've paid 13 grand in taxes, mum. Yeah, okay. That's so poor for me. So you, you paid lots of tax. And, and yeah, and one of them was so rude because it was, uh, I didn't tax my vehicle. I Faith's had a howler here, by the way. It. So I've always had, remember we moved into the house mm -hmm. and I told you, I said brown envelopes, you always open brown envelopes. Yeah, I got better. They are top priority list. Open a brown envelope and get it done. What did you do? You put two brown envelopes in the back of my car in the bottom of your bag and one in my office, all addressed to Faith Kelly. Yeah, but one of those was actually for you. Yeah, I know, but and I did do that. <laughs> Thank you. I did it. Yeah. And then 
She just doesn't open these brown envelopes, which is trouble. They're bad news. Which is trouble. I don't know yeah. they give which me is depression. Trouble. And it was to tax her vehicle. She had, she'd been driving on tax for a while, so she got a penalty. But no, I'm not scared. Like I'm not above the law. No. Uh, no one. T- this is the problem I have with the government. 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 Government and yeah. the people who control tax. Because why didn't you tell me when I bought the car? Oh, hey, looks like you bought a new car here. You want to tax it? No. no. Uh, Why did they wait a month no. and then be like, hey, you've actually been driving untaxed. I agree with your dad. So Faith got her car from Sitch. And now you owe me. I, I've got a call order. Faith, yeah. Faith got, got a call order. Faith got her car from Sinch. And on Sinch. the first car you got from them, they was really good. No, oh, second time. Really, really time, good. However, horrific. the second time it was fucking The carnage. shittest Really bad. Ever. And I feel like because there was so much issue then, they didn't really speak to you on on, oh, by the way, you need to tax your car because it was such chaos anyway yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to get you the car. So I agree with your dad. Cinch probably should have said, oh, by the way, it needs road tax. Fuck you, Cinch. But I feel like that, that that issue just went missing. So you got a penalty, mm-hmm. got a court order, but once and you pay I it, did you don't have to go to court. pay so. it, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was like 900 quid, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you, at least a car is taxed now and she has paid her penalty. Well, I did this before. I don't want to get in trouble with the police, but I was... <laughs> 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 Cool. I don't. I'm good at t-shirts, aren't I? I don't like. Yeah. Oh. I was driving around without insurance, wasn't I? <laughs> I thought my insurance ran out in December, but it actually ran out in October. Yeah. So I got one for then as well, and I was like, oh my I've, god. I've driven without insurance again, unknowingly. Yeah. It happens, man. It happens. It's, it's a long one of time, things. though. I think nowadays as well. Whereas everything before was like very, like paper, like you yeah. would get your certificate in the paper. Everything now is so online. Yeah. That I just completely forget. Yeah. Everything. I forget oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. You're like my reminder, aren't you? Well, this is what Without I was about to say. Without a doubt. Say. So it becomes Faith, the Ethan's other day, goes, can you remind me to do my court order in my so car? so good at reminding. So that I stuff. actually whacked it on my phone reminders on my home screen. Yeah. And I told her three times during the day. Yeah. Have you done your car yet? No, I don't want to do it. I really didn't want to do it. I don't it's want really it. But then me. I went and fetched the two brown letters out of my boot. Yeah. Put them on the table and said, do that now. Sort that out. Yeah. And it wasn't, I still didn't do it. But this morning, <laughs> he was like, did you do it? And I was like, oh, fuck, because today's my last getting, day to do it. You're just in trouble, so. Yeah. Well, she is... Can't catch me. She is abiding by the law now, I am. everyone. Yeah, but I just feel like your system's flawed and it's bollocks. Because imagine me actually going to court and be like, I'm so sorry, I actually didn't know fucking road tax was a thing. They're just going to be like, no, yes, you it's did. It's a skill and issue like, on no, your I part. didn't. It's a major skill issue. I feel issue like it's a, like, kind of like a manly thing. Oh, cars. Yeah, I understand cars. I, like, I've had the engine light on for so long. I'm not even taking it to a garage. It'll be fine. It's probably the oil or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> All right, what's up next? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> next one. Yep. My hubby and I are hitting the bottom. We can't communicate without yelling and accusing one another. We've been together for eight years, married for five. Soon we'll start living in two countries because of work arrangements. We have two kids. I feel like this is the last chance for us to try and save what we have. So bottom line, they just uh, can't communicate. Yeah, and I feel, I feel like that's... Without yelling and talking to each other. Do you know what? I actually feel like we've, we've overcome something similar. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I feel like the way that we communicate now when we have something that upsets us is, is so much better than before. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah. Like, obviously, we're both young, whatever, like couples. We, when you've I'm had a lot young, to drink... But thank you. I am. But when you've had a lot to drink, obviously, you can. it's easy to shout at one another. Uh, but uh, let's, let's, we're not yelling at each other, by the way. No, no, no. But I just, <laughs> I just mean when... Listen, everyone argues, but... Yeah. When we used to have said disagreements, not often, but when we used to have yeah. them, they would be louder. Yeah. But now it's very much like, okay, babe, please, can you not do, do this? This actually upsets yeah. me. Going forward, would you mind doing this? Yeah. And all of our conversations are actually like that. And we, I actually will hand on heart say we actually never fall out. No, we don't. No, I don't think we ever fall I, out I, or I would have like to give myself a pat on the back for that. I've got a lot better at communicating oh, with Oh, I you. thought you meant just um, like... I I I take the whole pat on the back. No, <laughs> it's I'm, all me. Like we don't. No, I'm saying I, I actually give myself a lot of credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I am I'm a hot headed individual. Oh no, he is. Yeah, I'm a hot headed sure. individual. I get the um. Whereas no, I'm no, the no. other end of the yeah. stick. I'm so like, now, calm and relaxed. I feel like I am now very much like. Yeah. I'll rather just walk away. Yeah. Which I know sometimes gives you the um, but I'll walk away from it, and then five minutes later, be like. Right, yeah, good. yeah. So I mean, that's best for you, but it's not like when you say that, it's not like I'm moaning or having no, like no. ag at you. It's more like I'd rather just talk calmly and resolve it. But yeah. where you are hot headed, your head wants to, I don't know, 
Maybe like, I, like, I, come quicker. No, nah, uh, <laughs> I immediately sort totally of go to that. justify my decisions first, which yeah. is like, I don't know why. Yeah. I suppose only child mindset. Yeah. I just try and justify myself yeah, first yeah, yeah. and try and make you see my point first. Yeah. But I don't, but now I, I feel like it definitely helps you to go away and then come back and then you see both sides. Yeah, but now yeah. I listen. I feel like that if for men is a major thing. Yeah. Is listen. Do you but, think do you think it's a pride thing for him yeah. to not be listening to her yeah, and 100%. shouting and talking over? Yeah. Because yeah, like would you say that sometimes, oh actually they are a little bit bright and I yeah. don't like that. Hundred percent. So do you think that could be a little bit of a problem? Well, without a shadow of a doubt. Like that's I, I've swallowed my pride loads of times. You have yeah, to. Of course. Yeah, of course. You both ways. To. Both ways you have to. But that's what I'm saying in their situation. Yeah. If it is an ego thing. Communication is like one of the main... It is the most... A lot of people will think... So oh, important. Our relationship's gone downhill because of this. When realistically, just it all stemmed it. from just miscommunicating with yeah. each other. Yeah. And everything would be a lot nicer. Yeah, of course. I don't know. I feel like you just have to kind of say, let's talk calmly, yeah. quietly. Yeah. And it takes... Sensibly. Uh, it, it, ta takes it, it takes some training. Yeah, of you've course. Got, you've got to understand how to do it. But yeah, man, I but think... But maybe, maybe she has the fiery approach as well because maybe you'll come going... Oh, why didn't you do the dishwasher like that? And then automatically you set the tone yeah. to maybe try your approach and be like, oh, hey, I've noticed the dishwasher is still full. Um, you said you'd do it yesterday. Would you mind just doing it quickly before we go to bed if that's all right? Yeah, which, yeah, that's it works. That's pretty much what we do, yeah. It works. I, I yeah. <laughs> Apart from yesterday when I tripped over your shoes and almost snapped oh, I got my ankle. Yeah, but, uh, oh my God, I went to way, feed the dog and I went this week, flying. This week, I've been on fucking form. Yeah, I'm doing same. stuff without even being asked now. Just not issue. I'm like, I'm functioning on peak male performance levels. Yeah, you you're minute. doing well. But every day I pick up your shoes. Every day I do yeah. it. She and was, then, she went to feed but the I dogs. mean like multiple times a day. When his shoes are out, I just pick them up and put them whatever. I put them aside. Only because Olive bites them and chews them, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's a bit disgusting. But um, anyway, I went, I called the dog. I said, hey, dears, come get dinner. And because I'd already picked the shoes up like 10 minutes ago, I just wasn't expecting there to be another pair of shoes. I went flying and my ankle i landed so dodgy i, I was like off. babe <laughs> I was like, you room, out. <laughs> i've just put your shoes away because i've just tripped over and really hurt my ankle and i was watching ufc or something i think it was yeah it was oh, the fuck, ufc sorry. that was at the o2 yeah. <laughs> and um and i was sat there and i just went oh i'm sorry no you went like, oh bollocks sorry yeah and i was like yep yeah, well my ankle really hurts yeah. now <laughs> yeah miscommunication you just got to learn man it, and, it, and it takes a while to get it down to a t yeah because you got to work out yeah 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 have a communicate yeah What's next? Show That's it. Us? Is that right? Or is my phone bugging? No, that'd be in the next page. Oh, sorry. My phone was bugging. I was zoomed in because I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry. Oh my God. This is such a long one. This would be like, you know, when you're reading in class and you count your paragraphs and what one you've got to read and then you get the really long one and you're having like a dyslexic nightmare. Yeah, true. I forgot this is like this double is hard, hard for work you. for me. This is like school. <clears throat> In the last day, I, 53-year-old female, mm -hmm. found my 54-year-old male partner of 34 years trying to meet up with 19 to 20-year-olds for anal sex. What? <laughs> what? I am distraught, especially since we have a daughter at the same age. Uh. He's always had this kink, but in his later years became fixated on it, which is partially why our sex life has died. Oh my goodness. He couldn't, wouldn't do it any other way. And of course, for me, it wasn't pleasing. Imagine every time you initiated sex, it would ultimately always lead to anal. And in the end, I refused because I simply felt like a cum vessel. <laughs> there was no emotion. To my knowledge, he never cheated until I found his inquiries to young sex workers asking for prices and meetups while I was at work okay. <laughs> on the night shift. I do at work. Wow, this is nuts. Uh, I honestly don't know where you go from here. He wants to meet up to talk, but he hasn't apologized. I confronted him at his job as I was so angry. I'm in limbo. Do I try and hear him out or do I cut my losses? How does a middle-aged woman begin her life again? At the moment, he's in our house while I'm staying elsewhere. It's absolutely terrifying whichever option I choose. I now understand why people stay in their situations. Oh my God. The anal predator. Wow. He's out here, man. Jesus. Did you know what's so <laughs> wrong? Yep. 18, 19 year olds. I got, that was shocking. But then to hear their sex workers, okay, this is kind of what they want to do. Mm. You didn't have to pick one so young. I'm just going to throw that out there. There are older sex workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've borderline gone for the youngest He's ones you possibly can. He's got a young anal kink. And you have a daughter the same age. Yeah. That's crazy. What if your daughter oh, wanted to be uh, in the oh. same industry and you're just letting 54-year-old men 
into her back pup. That's crazy. Fuck me. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> That's true, though. Yeah, yeah, you've got a valid point. Um, it's so wrong. She brings up a good point at the end mm. with the, I see why some people stay in their situations. I feel like loads of people end up in something like that. Well, we just watched um, Getting Filthy Rich, didn't we? And they we did, said yeah. that um, a dominatrix uh, little section of the show, they said a lot of men come to see them because they're afraid to bring up their kinks yeah. with their partners because they're usually mm. really odd. So I openly said to Ethan, I said, Ethan, please... Before you see a dominatrix, what is your kink? You didn't have one, apparently. Am but you I, said I'm really nice simple. underwear. I said, babe, I'm really simple, man. I like, <laughs> I like a nice lingerie set. The glasses are doing a lot right now. I really. You look hot that right what now. You say? I like it. Bl- like. The blonde with the glasses, you're doing good. Please, I'm gonna blush. You're doing good, man. Thanks. I'm a, I'm a big fan of of a lingerie set. Cracking, man. Jeez, love yeah. that. But, but uh, Rolo eats <laughs> all the lingerie sets. <laughs> he does. I said, babe, if you want me... In it, bro, it's so expensive. It's yeah. like £45 just for the knickers, yeah. not even the bra. But Rolo eats all the fucking lacy But Rolo shit, keeps man. eating my lacy fucking underwear. So I said, I'm not doing it anymore until the dog grows up. It's granny pantsy. It's granny... Oh my God, you want to say... You say you like what you see, but when I tell you I'm wearing... <laughs> I think I got a peek of them earlier. So the blue, pink, and yeah, white yeah, yeah, boxer yeah, yeah. short. Them. Yeah, no, yeah they're soft. Them. They're um, comfort. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, she is so fucked. And how do you explain mm. how you've ended things with her dad? Oh, sorry, he darling. Loves young the light of my life. Your dad wants to have anal back sex. passage sex with people. Well, she own. she is also. I'd be fucking mortified. Yeah, I can imagine if I was a woman. Daughter and partner, I'd I be was a woman, mortified. and my husband kept wanting to stick it in my ass. So I'd get the arm. Oh my god, yeah, no, I'd <laughs> get the arm. Right, man. Listen, if it's uh, if it's a decent whack as well, if he's got a, if you've got a rod on him, long day, long day. What? It's just funny. It's <laughs> so funny? not funny. Yeah, it's no. funny that it's not funny. Um, that is the worst <laughs> conversation I've or situation I've ever thought of. Or heard. It's really not great, but the old man's... Listen, you can't help what you like as well. So the fact he likes bum play, <laughs> you can't hate him for that. Can't you bum just play. tell him that you've got a kink for slapping men really hard and you give him a wallet around the face every time before you do it? Yeah, but he'll say, let me whack in your arsehole, then you can slap me. Fine, at least I get to slap you after. Just firm the arsehole blow. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no. <laughs> uh, but I, it's whatever option you choose. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to lie. Long day. Listen, the problem is that he has messaged other women. Yeah. So young. Would it have changed the narrative if they was a bit older? For me personally, if it was our situation and we was that old, no offence, I would have preferred a woman, maybe even 30s, late 20s, 30s. Just because I love way, them. I would have been way more comfortable than if I found messages of you messaging an 18, yeah. 19 no, you're year right. old. That's crazy. You're right. This is multifaceted. I think there's a lot of issues. Check his hard drive, Queen. <laughs> Check that man's hard drive. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's fucked. I don't really know. Oh, it's so fucked. There's not much L- to Listen, I pray really. for you. Yeah. I don't know how you go forward from this. I don't think you should stay with him. We the spare fact you, you a confronted, thought. Him, cr- confronted him at work, hmm. I hope it was publicly. Yeah. Darren, you've been asking for bum sex off of 18 year olds. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Yeah, just while he's at his little computer job, <laughs> looking at bum sex. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. You're, you're so fucked. I'm so sorry. What a, what a pig. Well, don't, right. don't make him feel too bad. Are you joking? <laughs> What's next? He's fucked. Say he's fucked. He, he's, he's, She's he's, and he's, there, but it's a long day. So fucked. Right. Dilemmas. Ooh. Ooh. Every Sidemen fan in the world has your home address and phone number or you cannot shower or bath for the rest of your life. I'm easily going no bath and no shower. Yeah, I'm going to honk up the gap. 100%. Because at the minute, we they, could be they, would, dirty they would kill me. <laughs> I've, I've had cancer wishes recently. It's got that oh, bad. Oh, same, Queen. Yeah. Same. Yeah, people want me to die, man. Yeah, I know. Such so, a uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to honk. Yeah, oh, 100%. I'm going to honk real bad. 100%. Yeah, man. I'm going to be standing outside in the rain. Yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah, I'm, R. Kelly? I'm, I might jump in a I feel pond like it's music just for a little bit of relief. Huh? A little bit of respite. I'm going to jump in a pond. Oh, we're going to we're going to be dirty. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, no, I hate it. Even when people in our area, we had it the other day. So I've got Some someone... Some weird kid just yeah, stood outside Yeah, I have um, 
a loan, which means somebody coming to help me out with my horses, essentially. He was like, hi, Faith, just uh, opened your gates. And there is a boy on a bike with a mask sitting, just looking into your house. He said, so I've mm. opened the door and I've shouted because we wasn't home. Yeah. He's like, oh, bye, Faith, whatever, blah, blah, blah. See you next yeah. time to try and make it seem like someone's home. A bit of acting. Yeah, 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 a bit of acting. Now Five star. Them. And then um, <laughs> no, I, we are home all the time. That was like the one. Okay, It was my yeah. mum's birthday, actually. Mm-hmm. So I was actually at her house. I was still coming back the same evening. But anywho, um, yeah, he was like, he's not leaving. He was like, I don't know if he's like waiting for us to leave or whatever. So we yeah. said in the end, he did leave and circle the block and he was gone. Yeah. Um, but so odd. I don't it get what it is so as well. Like, I don't it know makes what, us so uncomfortable. I don't know why the youths of today wear masks and stuff. I said, is he wearing gloves? And he went, yeah, but they're fingerless. And I said, lol. <laughs> <laughs> <Ick>. <laughs> yeah. Fingerless gloves already. No, you're traceable. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't get the use of today. Uh, it really makes me uncomfortable. But I always, whenever I've had conversations with the use of today, yeah. I say, imagine how your parents would feel if I come and stood outside your house. Yeah. They'd ring the police on me. Yeah. If I was stood outside someone's house, just sitting there, they'd be like, this geezer is just staring at our house. But we had a problem before last summer, didn't we? Because we used to have gates that, that were barred in, yeah. so you could see in. Didn't want to go and in the they, kitchen. And I was talking through the microphone saying, boy, I kind of got to leave. Come on. Um, I, think I was heavily pregnant as yeah. well, wasn't I? And then we was kind of trying to get stuff sorted. And there was about four or five boys just sat on bikes looking through our gates. Yeah, it's and it's so uncomfortable. I said, baby, you've got to go in. They're not leaving. Because yeah. he has to then hide in his own house because we didn't have blinds at this yeah. point. So I'm like... They're not, they're not leaving. I've, I've asked politely. And you had to go and say, you was like, boy, it's like, you can't come here. And they no. was like, oh, can we get a picture though? And you went, at my house? No, no you can't yeah. just come to my home. But, and by the way, there's like, there's a park nearby that sometimes we would go we to. We always Or like, out. there's a shop up but the road that we would Ethan sometimes said, be at the shop. if you ever catch me outside, ask for a picture. Yeah. I'll always do it, but please don't but stand outside my house. But principle of the fact that you stood outside the house. No. And as a new mother as well, I don't care what age you are. It's no. not nice. It mm-hmm. makes me feel like I'm being watched literally yeah. it's i know they're looking for you but it's so uncomfortable and it's listen we've never thought oh that's really lovely a boy standing outside our house oh bless him he probably just wants a picture we think fuck me it's a bit odd someone's yeah. outside our house it's so i odd. also like as much as i'm in the side men and the side men are your home life is so really important. famous or whatever i still consider myself privileged but relatively normal yeah yeah yeah. like i like to yeah when i'm at home i'm a very homebody i'm like yeah, of oh cool but yeah, it's a bit too much. Oh, it's so too much. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's standing out in the rain, yeah. jumping in the lake, <laughs> all of that. I'm going to do a Hades and start rolling in little oh. wet patches in the ground. <laughs> right, next one. You can only walk backwards for the rest of your life or you must full on sprint everywhere you go for the rest of your life. Oh my God, backwards. Jesus Christ, I can't run for more than five oh, seconds. Oh, I'm sprinting everywhere. Really? Oh, that's yeah. so not going to work for us. Because <laughs> I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really hard, first of all, but eventually, I'm going to be really fucking fit. Do you know what? That's, that so works out well for you because... I love Russia. Y- yeah, you love going in for 100 miles an hour. Yeah, man. You love oh, not I'm, being late. Yeah, that's an easy choice for me. I'm sprinting every... Admittedly, if I've got like a like a 30 minute walk yeah. or something long day oh no listen. sprinting for 30 minutes is really long I'm about to put but, a parking sensor in my backpack and beep 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 yeah. when I get it but too I feel close like, to something I feel like there's progressive overload right I'm going to start doing short sprints and eventually I'm going to be so fit that I can just sprint everywhere yeah but a lot of athletes die because they're too fit and then they have heart attacks don't they so that's yeah. always on the table yeah well Whereas I'm just going to be going backwards. And you're going backwards I'm going backwards you fucking backwards <laughs> <laughs> oh my god everyone loves that so my like your go-to being. saying. My go-to is, are you backwards? When I've done something stupid or I say something stupid, Faith will go, are you backwards? Are you fucking backwards? Yeah. And uh, all of your friends it. and girlfriends are like, what is it that you say? Go on, say it, say it. Yeah, and say it, and yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, the backwards. And I'm like, oh, what, are you fucking backwards? And yeah. they're like, oh, I love it. It's so, I just yeah. thought it was a common saying, but that's just, are you no, backwards? It is a good one. Yeah. Um, right. Become Amish or live in a space, what? Live in space for a year. Don't no, I'm that. living in space, man. Without a doubt. I don't Sorry, all you Amish people. Um, Live in space. What is Amish again? No, it's I've seen it. I've, I've watched it. I can tell you what Amish is. It's like really old cultured what? No, it's like really, really like they don't use like electricity. They don't use like... Okay. I just got she on, she on the ball here. No, yeah. I see it. I've, I'm double checking with our producer, used, by the way, you, when you see me looking over there. I used to watch it. It's called like Living with the Amish or something. It's really cool. Oh, well um, done you. I, You're more educated than me. I know. Well done. Say it louder, Queen. Uh, I. <laughs> but they have like candles. They dress in like white long things. Okay. They grow their own food. Like it's really like the, stripped back and natural. Long things. 
like dresses and stuff. Sounds like an awfully. Oh no, not the KKK. Okay, That's good. a different one. Good. All right. Um, well, I am living in space, man. I got a real thing for space. Oh, oh my god! I've just got it. Space is in up in the sky. I was so confused. She I've... knows what a fucking Amish is, but doesn't know what the fucking living in space means. I thought it just... Holy like... smokes! I so didn't get it for such a long time. <laughs> I just thought living in space, like what, on the ground, but you have space. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you just had <sighs> room to do what you wanted to do. Oh, I get it now. I think I'd in be space. Amish. Yeah, I think I'd be Amish. No sex. You'd be Amish. Yeah, no sex till marriage could easily do that. I don't would, waste my time. I would uh, live in the old cultures. Um, I don't that, like the dark though, so that's a little bit of techie that, for me with a candle. Doubt I'm picking space. Man. Are you just floating space. around? Doing yeah, but I, I assume I'd be in a vessel. I'd be in some type of vessel. Mm, it's not for me. I'd be Amish. At least I'm on the ground. Fair dudes, yeah, you're a grounded individual. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd kind of. I love space. I think it's really. But it's cool. like no party and whatever, so I don't really do that anyway. So. No. Listen, yeah, I might being as well Amish could actually be your partner. You, yeah. could, you could be a new new Amish member. I could, I could. I actually really find it interesting. Yeah. So you're Amish and... No, I'm, I'm Amish. Space, you're Amish. Space. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe I didn't click that. Right. Do you know what someone on the last one said as well about our podcast? I said the lights on but no one's home. Facts. That situation right there. In the previous <laughs> podcast. No, but that right there. Was just, so you like, just proved them what right. What do you mean living yeah. in space? Right. Call to action. Important. To <laughs> le- <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, is that not the thing? <laughs> I'm never leading again. <laughs> and by the way, call to action means that that is the end of this podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. It says important to let everyone know where they can send their relationship. So go on, tell them then. Okay, call to action, everybody. <laughs> important to let everyone... Oh my God, why am I doing it again? I'm yeah. reading it. No, yeah. I just said important to let everyone know. Yeah, I'm re- on, reading yeah. it. Right. It's important, guys. Guys, uh... <laughs> You know where to send in your relationship rants and problems. Um, we do it on Fred's a lot. I wouldn't right? know. I haven't got it. You don't. He's still not on the hype. Just to be fair, I've it, I don't hype. even think it's but hype anymore, can, by the way. You can just... You know, it's not. It's full yeah. enough. It's so full enough. But you can send in your relationship problems, whatever. Yeah, I want to hear more tragic ones let's like just that say, animal situation because that's deep. Everyone, submit any dilemma you have in your relationship any. to either the threads page or the Instagram DMs of the Growing Pains yeah, account, yeah, that's you will one. be kept completely anonymous, by the way. Oh, 100%. We won't even know who sent it. Yeah. It just comes up on a document like 32-year-old yeah. male. Like, no shame, yeah. whatever. So you are completely hidden. Send in any dilemmas you got. Yeah. Anything, man. We're here. Yeah. Help us. Help us create your life better and some funny content. Well, I don't know. We just told that woman she was severely fucked about... That was more you than me. I was kind of, I was kind of letting her off. I said, hey, it's a long day. But, but you are. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, what else does it say out there? Remember to get everyone to subscribe. Follow. Go on then. <laughs> Guys, make sure you subscribe, follow, and most importantly, give us a five star <laughs> on Spotify because that will really help us. Any podcast platform that we're on. Yeah. Wherever you're listening we to We want to be number one still. We want to yeah. kick off Louis Theroux. Yeah. Joe oh, by Rogan. the way, I love Louis Theroux, but... You're going to have to hold this. Yeah, I didn't know who he was until, um, no offence, Louis, until... JJ Shows. Yeah, JJ yeah. Show and Freya come out to me and she grabbed my arm she was like, oh my God, it's Louis Theroux. And I was like, yeah. Hey. And she was well, like, he does documentaries and I was like, oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, he does documentaries but it's not as good as this podcast. So, it's so not. Uh, five stars, wherever you're listening, like the video on YouTube, subscribe on subscribe. YouTube. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, see you next time. Slay. Bye.